Hi there, Paul Kirtley here, author of Paul Kirtley's blog, the leading source of wilderness bushcraft advice and information on the net and founder of Frontier Bushcraft. Now I get a lot of people asking me um, how I pack all of my kit that I need to take in the woods. Um, particularly uh, a while ago I wrote an article um, with some photographs about what I do take with me and there were some photographs there and they were numbered and um, that article's proved very popular but I've had a lot of questions about it. How do I get it all in my rucksack? How do I get everything in there? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna really explain what the equipment is. You can go back to that original article if you like, and I'll put a link under this video so that you can go straight to that. But what I'm gonna show in this video is how I pack it. And not just to prove the fact it will go in a rucksack, but also how do I arrange it so that um, maybe that will be useful to you, that will serve you well in terms of maybe helping you arrange your kit as well. Um, let me know in the comments below if you find it useful. Anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna show you um, how I pack it. I've got everything laid out um, very, in a very, very similar fashion to I had in that um, original article. And then I'm just gonna pack it and I'll talk through it as I go uh, and you can see how all that goes in. So I hope you enjoy this and uh, here we go. So here's my rucksack, a Sabre 45 with a couple of side pockets. Um, any PLC side pockets will fit on here. I'm using some old Arctis ones. Ortlieb dry bag, um, I can't remember the exact size. I think it's a 67 litre one. That goes into the middle. Make sure it's down in all the corners. First thing that goes in is my sleeping bag, packed in its own separate dry bag. That goes into the bottom. Sabre 45 is slightly tapered and it takes a sleeping bag very well at the bottom. Also, then Thermarest goes in. That goes away from my back, that's quite light. And then close to my back in this stuff sack, I've got my bivy bag. Just a standard MOD, British Army bag. It's tough and it's not too heavy. My tarp is here, but that doesn't go in yet. Then, spare clothes. Not gonna need those during the day. That's like spare pants and socks. That's gonna go in there. Like so. In this bag, I've got uh, a thermal top, um, a merino thermal top, and there's a, some small warm gloves in there and also some slightly bigger warm gloves. I've got two pairs of gloves in there, and also what I'm gonna put into there, it's a warm day today. I don't need my warm hat. I might need it later if it's cold, but that's gonna go in there. I've also got a little towel, which acts as a bandana, and uh, that just goes in there if I, don't need it to hand and that's also going to get stuffed into the back there. Then waterproof trousers, I'm not so likely to need those and I'm, frankly I don't like wearing waterproof trousers very much unless I have to so I don't tend to put them on um, until last minute. Warm layer, stuff that in and then waterproof jacket and that goes in on top just in case I need it. Then squeeze some of the air out and roll that up to seal it off. Bring that up to there and there's still quite a lot of room in there and I can easily get my tarp on top of there. That's the first thing I'm gonna need when I get into camp. So I'm having that on the top there. And also if I want shelter during the day, it's there too. Bring that up. Now I want to make sure that's nice and locked off. You can see in one of my other videos, I show this in more detail. Just a quick knot around the top there that's still quick release. This has got a compression sack, compression strap rather here, which I can tighten up. That's everything on there, really nicely, nicely done. I've still got all the side pockets free. Now I have a system where I have all my water and um, cooking pots and those sorts of things on this side here so I know where they are. Here's my billy can. In there I've got my kitchen sink and then in there I've got my dromedary. That goes in there, the MSR dromedary. Kitchen sink, collapsible bowl in the top. And then a stuff sack to keep all the soot from the billy going over all the rest of my kit and on the inside of my side pocket. That 
that goes in there like so. Keeps it all together too. Wraps it up, that goes in here. I've loosened the side straps here so that I can fit everything in without being restricted. Water bottle there, and then got my Crusader mug and a second water bottle, they go together. And then this spoon fits nicely in the back there and it's all together and stops it rattling. That goes in there. Got my water purification filter here. That can go in here in case I need it. And I should also, my little possibles pouch, bits and pieces in there. That can go in there. And that's everything fitted. And I, because the mug is still in the cup, I can bring that in and out very easily during the day. And I've still got a spare bottle down the bottom and I've got my water purification stuff just there where I need it. On the inside of the lid here, I always pop my, uh, my head torch. And then on this side, I can put food. There's a whole side pocket there to put food in. And I can get a good number of days food in there. I could get up to a week's worth of food in there if I'm, if I'm careful about what I pack. Um, and then what goes on top is my first aid kit. But that's going to go in there now. Also, in the top pocket here, I've got a toilet bag, just in case I need to go to the toilet. And then my wash bag, either if it'll fit in there, goes in the side pocket, or it can go in here. All right, compass. Often have that on my person, but um, if not, it can go in there. There's my hat, which today I'll probably put on. It's a pretty sunny day. It's 20 odd degrees today. It's quite warm sun. It's July, so that's probably going to go on my on my head. But equally, that can go in here somewhere. Notebook. I generally put that in the top here for making notes. Sometimes I have it in my pocket, but that goes there. Like so. I'm going to pop the hat in here for now, just so you can see it will all go in to the pack. Then I've got my knife and my saw, which I often have on my belt when I'm in the woods. But you know, if I'm travelling to the woods or if I've got the rucksack on my uh, on my belt and I don't want to keep the knife on my person, um, I can hang it on my cord around the neck, on a cord around my neck. Even um, I can pop that in the side pockets, and it will go in with the food, or it'll slot down. There's still room in this side pocket, even though you've seen a lot go in there. It'll just slide down here with the next to my possibles pouch, next to the water purification kit. Just there, there's still lots of room left in there. Fasten that one up. Like so. Got everything in the top that I need to now, including on the inside pocket. Bring those straps through. Gonna fasten this one up now. And then the last thing, if I'm gonna take my ax, I could slot it down the side of the side pockets here. I'd probably put it on this side at the moment because that one's a lot heavier. That one can go in there. Or I can use the ice axe loop on the back here. Just pop that through, bring it back up, and then I've got a little strap here that just sits there. Fix it on just the same way as an ice axe. That goes on there. Tighten that up and then I put that under the lid just to keep it all nice and contained and then bring that one up to there. Tighten those down. There's still a bit of room in there actually. Lots of room left in the side packet, pocket. All that's in there at the moment is the first aid kit which normally sits on top of the food. And that's a leader's kit as well. If I'm on my own I don't actually need a kit as big as that because there's a lot of things that that will deal with that I can't do on myself. Um, but if I've got a group, if I'm leading a group then that's the kit that I will I will take. So that's it. That's the rucksack all fastened up and ready to go. And there we go. All very compact. I hope that serves you well. I hope you find it useful having seen me do that, both in terms of proving that it does all fit into a rucksack and it, pro it, it, it proves it fits in quite easily. Um, also, there's plenty of room left there for food. 
Um, a lot of my kit there isn't the lightest weight equipment in the world, um, the jackets, the, the, the waterproof trousers, those things, if you want them to be lighter weight, particularly if you're walking in the hills, you can, you can get an even more compact kit than what I've got there. But all of my stuff is robust and it lasts a long time. And those of you that have followed me for a while will realize that most of that kit is the same kit that I was using several years ago. Um, and actually a lot of it's older, older than that still. Um, and so my kit, I'm outdoors for a lot of time, my kit lasts a long time and that's what I want. Yes, some of it's not the cheapest, but it's good. It all fits in the rucksack. I know where it is. I've got my system down. Hopefully in my sharing my system with you and how I pack things, that is useful to you as well. Um, many people who come on courses with me bring too much stuff with them. Um, and they admit as much at the end of the course, particularly the end of an elementary course, they'll say, wow, I brought too much stuff with me. I know how much I need to bring next time. And then after an intermediate course, they need even less, or at least they're comfortable with less. And then you've got the choice of how much you want to bring. So hopefully that's useful to you. That's my baseline kit. Obviously it varies a little bit depending on where I'm going, but that's my baseline kit that I use in the UK all the time. I use it in Northern Temperate Wilderness. That's my, that's my kit. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you're on my mailing list. Um, if you're not already on my mailing list, I, I, I send out lots of free tips and advice on a regular basis. Um, so please make sure you're on there. And if you like this video, please leave a, um, a comment underneath and let me know what you think. If you've got any additional ideas or comments or observations, um, or if you do things differently and, and like to explain what you do, please leave a comment and I'll look forward to hearing from you. Um, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you.